battery test web surfing via WIFI with the screen at 100 nits. Following a BIOS update, the newest version, which has a higher capacity 56WHR battery and a supposedly more efficient Skylake processor, lasted a slightly longer 1154. The Dell's endurance is much better than the Yoga 9757 and the Ultra Portable Average of A10. The MacBook Air continues to dominate, with an excellent time of 14 hours, but it also has a lower resolution display. Based on our previous experience with the 1080p non-touch and the QHD Plus Touch versions of earlier XPS 13s, we can reasonably assert that the model with the higher resolution display will have considerably lower battery life. The XPS 13 starts at $799. At that price, consumers get a 1080p non-touch display, Intel Core i3 6100U processor, 4GB of RAM and a 128GB SSD. The next pre-configured model costs $999, and has a more powerful Core i5 6200U CPU and a GB of RAM. This is the version I reviewed albeit with a 256GB SSD, which increased its price to $1,149. Stepping up to $1,399, the least expensive configuration with a touch screen, gets you the same Core i5 processor and a GB of RAM, but a 256GB SSD and QHD Plus 3200x1800 display. Spend $200 more and you can upgrade the CPU to an Intel Core i7-6500U. As one of Dell's premium notebooks, the XPS 13 refreshingly comes with little in the way of bloatware. The only apps pre-installed are Flipboard, Solitaire, Group Music, iHeart Radio, Twitter and the ubiquitous Candy Crush Saga. The laptop also comes with a one-year warranty, but Dell didn't fare all that well on this year's tech support showdown. Click here to see who did the